Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm going to share a few more questions with you which have been asked to me during my interview SQL round. The very first question is what will be the output for this query? So basically select count star from two or more than two tables will gives you a multiplication of total number of records or you can say that total number of rows in all the tables. Uh, it basically does a cross join. So uh, here for an instance, we are taking two tables. So what it will do, it will matches each record in table one with each record in table two. And as an output, it will give us a product. Uh, you can say the multiplication of total number of records that are present in both the tables. So let's just jump into MySQL workbench here. I have created two tables and just to show you guys, so this is table one. It is the same table that we have been used in the last video. And this is the new table that I have created here. Fine. So these are the two tables. So now I want the uh, that uh, select count star for both these tables, table A and the table B. So select count star from table one and table B. So you can see here there are total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here are total three. So seven into three. So the output should be 21. And now I'm just going to run this and the output is 21. Let's move to the second question. And that is can a table be joined to itself? The answer is yes we can do this with the help of self join next question is how to determine the number of duplicates in a table so this is basically you can say that it is almost a similar question that we have done in the last video in that video um, i just forget the question number there we have find it was i think seventh uh, there what we have done we have find the name of the cities where the id is greater than two so here basically uh, what we can do to determine the number of duplicates in a table or even in a column what you can do you can use group by along with having and you can just count the number fine so here you can do select count uh, star uh, from table name then group by and you can put your you know condition under having having id just uh, for an instance in the last video in the last question that we have done we have put id greater than two so if we want number of duplicates it should be equals to two greater than equals to two fine so now the next question is count the number of null entries in a column so now here what we need to do so we know that in a we don't have any uh, of the uh, you know null uh, there is no null value in table a so we want to calculate the total number of known null entries so what we can do it is very simple i'll show you how we can do for null as well as for no no null so select count uh, like uh, here in b table uh, the null values are there in the salary so what we will do salary the column salary from table B because we know that in table A there is nothing like null value where salary is not null. So if we run it, we know that there is only one, uh, you know, row, one record where the value is not null. So similarly, if we want to check it for null, you can just put is null. Now the very next question is how to calculate the maximum salary of the employee. This is very simple. You can use max function here. Now the next question, what is uh, what is an alternative for top close in SQL? So I have answered it row count function. There could be any other alternative and definitely for all the questions there could be, you know, any other solution as well. So if you have any other solution in your mind, you can write down in the comment section and please like the video stay tuned thank you so much bye bye